Today in class, we're going to be talking about functions and their inverses. But before we begin, I want to review what a function is. Uh, functions, for every input, there will be one output. Output, And the best way or an easy way to determine that is by looking at their graphs. Here's some examples of uh, some parent graphs and then a vertical line graph and a horizontal line graph. So this is what we mean by a vertical line test. When you do a vertical line test, that's one way that you can determine if something is a function. And so this is what you do. So you take, say like a ruler or, or a straight pencil or something, uh, anything straight, and when you have a graph of a function, just drag the straight line. And notice as we do that, at every point on the blue line, on the function line, my red vertical line only hits it in one spot. That means that this is a function. So let's continue to do that. So this first graph, by the way, is a linear graph. Y is equal to X, or another way to write that is F of X is equal to X. How you normally see linear graphs is Y equals MX plus B, which would have been a better thing to put for this particular graph because I didn't have it go through the origin. Uh, so linear function is typically seen as y equals mx plus b, but the parent graph is y is equal to x, and then the graph would go through the origin. Okay, this is a quadratic graph. This is the parent graph. So y equals x squared, or f of x is equal to x squared. Typically, you guys have been accustomed to working with trinomials, quadratic trinomials, and so the graphs might be in different locations. So let's take the vertical line and notice every point on that quadratic, that parabola, quad, quadratic graph, the red vertical line only touches it in one location. Let's go to the cubic. This is also the parent graph. Y is equal to X cubed or F of X is equal to X cubed. And again, when you do the vertical line test, it only touches the the graph, the function graph, in one location indicating that it's a function. So, uh oh, what is that? There we go. Here is an absolute value graph. Function. Here is a vertical line. X is equal to a number, and I'd say in this case this would be X is equal to, say, negative 4. But when we do the vertical line test, look at it covers it. It touches multiple places, all places on that line. So this is not a function. Not a function. All right, let's keep testing. Here's a horizontal line. That looks like it might be y is equal to positive 4. But notice on a horizontal line, the vertical line test works. So the equation for a horizontal line is a function. So let's come down here and here's the equation for a circle. And notice this is not a function because this vertical line touches that circle in two places. The only two, the only two spots that it doesn't is right on the outside of that circle where it's tangent. To, to both ends, but for the circle itself, it is not a function. Let's go over here to a sideways parabola, not a function. And then here's a hyperbola, again, not a function. So I can, not a function, not a function, not a function. All right, so what you guys are going to do is you're going to have some problems that you're going to be able to look at on your own, uh, grab a straight edge of some sort of pencil, and on your paper you're going to drag the straight edge along each, uh, each graph and determine if it's a function or not. All right, that's it for 
this particular task and this understanding, determining if something is a function.